Good morning, movers. Today we're doing an intense cardio and leg conditioning workout. This one's not gonna be for the faint of heart because I want you to grab a variety of dumbbells, also a box, a bench, or a stair, okay? Uh, in between some of the resistance exercises, we're gonna be doing some plyometric cardio exercises. So that's gonna jack your heart rate up, but really engage all of those fast twitch muscle fibers in the legs. I'm gonna lead you on a leg specific warm up, but if you're ready to go, you can jump to the number at the bottom of the screen. I'll see you over there. And uh, don't forget a lot of water. Make sure you have those BCAAs. Hey, those help with muscle reparation. So if you're tearing the muscle fibers in a workout like this, you need to repair them. So that's a great way to help you do that. All right. Are you ready? Let's move daily. Let's start with your warm up. I want you to kneel on one knee, okay? You can hold on to something. We're gonna sit it all the way back into that glute and then pop it all the way back up, okay? I want you to do eight on each side. I'm gonna count it out here for us. This is a great little glute um, stimulator, activator, just to get that glute nice and warm before we start, especially with our jumps, okay? Three more on this side here. Bring it back, you really wanna sit down into that pocket there and then propel yourself back up using your glute. Last one on this side. Okay, low, that. Alrighty, my glute's like, hmm, on fire. Okay, switch sides. Here we go, sit it back. Now this is my sore hip, so it actually feels really good. Like an awesome stretch in that glute here. Three. Good, so I've got this box. Of course, again, like I said, you had a bench, uh, a stable chair. I saw someone using like a hassock in their living room, like an ottoman. Perfect, that works. Okay, one more here. Woo, burn, good. And there. Okay, on your back, you're just gonna do a little windshield wiper. Okay, I want arms out to the side, press those shoulders into the ground, and you're side to side here. This is a little lower lumbar warm up here. Getting that torso ready for some of the jumps again. Warming things up here. Just 10 here, so that's four. Really attempt to push the shoulders into the ground on this guy. Legs are at 90 degrees, or your knees are rather. Okay, two more here. And then here. Good. All right, come on up. Let's do a little side to side lunge. So you're just gonna stay down here, but just again, getting my inner thigh warmed up here a little bit. Oh, good. I'm just kind of. Lifting my toe up, keeping my heel down, just so I can really lengthen it through that inner thigh. A couple more side to side here. I'm gonna turn it now into a front lunge so I can stretch that hip flexor. And the other side. Just kind of rocking side to side here. Nice and slow and controlled. And you don't wanna arch your back too much on this one. You're just trying to stretch that hip flexor not arch the back. One more each way. Good, last one here. Now I want you to walk your feet together, put your hands on your toes, drop your glutes down, and we're gonna do that stand and sit. One here to warm up hamstrings. Ooh, quads are burning. Oh, I don't know why this burns the quads so much. I get a hamstring stretch, but my quads are on fire. Two more. And last there. Oh, okay. Can we repeat that just once? And we'll be ready to go. Kneeling. And sit back and down for eight. Good. Um, you know, they do, I have one listed in my Amazon links below, uh, a box. It's a multi, what's the wooden one? Yeah, I have the wooden one and a foam one listed down there. So be sure to check those out if you want to get a little bit more serious about box jumping. This one obviously has the risk of injury. 
Because if you miss, <laughs> you're going to hit those shins. And I've done that. And I've seen people do that. And had to get stitches, so be careful, please. Um, but the, the soft ones, they're fantastic. Okay, last one on this side here. And that feels good and warmed up on your back. Let's go with that windshield wiper again. Okay, 90 degree arms and side. Press your shoulders into the ground. Oh, that is such a good stretch, isn't it? In that torso. I like it. We went and looked at some houses this weekend. Like we're thinking of maybe downsizing a bit or moving giving something nicer but smaller. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot of work. <laughs> then you're like, ah, maybe we'll just stay here. Moving is a lot of work. Okay, side to side lunges. But we went into this one person's crawl space. Like, it was only a two bedroom, or two, sorry, three bedroom, two floor house. And then there's a crawl space. They had so much stuff. Oh my lanta. How does one accumulate that much in a lifetime? It, it was crazy. And clearly, nothing that they missed or were using on a regular basis. So switch into the front lunge. We have a, we have a storage unit. There's a lot of books in there, I'll give it that. We need to get rid of those because we don't need those anymore. Every, who, like Everything's online that you could ever possibly want anyway. All, all our college, university books. We have still all our textbooks. <laughs> totally null and void, who cares? Okay, into the center, feet and stand. Let's just do eight here and then we're getting started. Anyway, it made Quentin and I want to go through our small storage unit and just, or not unit, just downstairs and clean it out. Declutter. One more here. Woohoo! Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Grab your water, grab your weights, and let's get started. We're starting with step ups. I'm gonna start with zero weight round one with this. I'm gonna add weight for the, the second round, but you do whatever you like. All right, 12 per side. Here we go. Full range here, okay? Now you can tap down if you'd like, but I do want a full extension on that bottom leg right there. Or you can set it down and then press back up. Once I have weights in my hand, I'll probably have to do that. Right now I'm good with the tap. Super tall. Good, two more here. All right, switch and work. Remember when you're lifting in hypertrophy, which is that 10 to 12 rep range, you wanna be able to be close to failure when you're at reps 10, 11, 12. So that's the weight range you need to be lifting in, okay? Two more here. And 12. All right, nice. Moving into a pistol squat. You're gonna sit on your chair. One leg is out. No plopping down. Very controlled down. Push through the heel. Keep that leg up if you can. I'll have to be putting mine up and down as I feel it a lot in the hip flexor, but. Now, if it's so easy for you, like, whoa, way too easy, hold the weight right here. It really depends on the height of your bench. Okay, so it'll be different for all of you. Good, three more here. We're straight up. Two, see a little hip flexor there. And one, shake it out. Switch legs, shoulders back, reach those hips back. Okay, still a nice hip back position, so it's like that leg is doing a squat. Good, four more, and push straight up. Two, last here, nice, good. Okay, moving to some box jumps. I'm gonna set my box this way, just right off the hop, not too high. It's probably about 12, no, more than that, maybe 14 inches, 
12 box jumps, here we go. into my 20 jumping lunges. This could be done as a reverse lunge if you don't want to jump. Ready? Hands out in front. Here we go. One, two, ten, twenty, Good start. Good, good. Okay. Water if you need. I'm gonna use weights this round. It's gonna slow me down a bit, but name of the game, sister. Get ready. Straight up, here we go. One. This time I'll set it down. Two more left, that's 10. Last. Woo. Okay, switch sides. Now my tick is ticking. Shoulders back, straight up. I'm just holding my weight up here just because my arm is sore. Feels better for me. Good, halfway. Two more. Nice. Okay, set those weights down. Moving into your pistol. Water at any time. Okay, 12. Here we go. Those jumps sure get your heart rate up, don't they? Woo, I love it. Great cardio conditioning. Great conditioning for the legs. Seven. Two more. Straight up. Shake it out. Switch. Work. I plop there. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hopefully not. It's control. Then you get that little bit of the eccentric phase as well. Two more here. Last one here. All the way up and down. Nice. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna keep it that height for my, my jumps. I haven't jumped in a while. I don't want to hurt myself in such, and especially in front of you guys. Embarrassing. Okay, here we go for 20, uh, 12. Okay, that's it. Wowza! 
jumping lunge. Ready? Here we go. 20. Ten more. Maybe it is a delight for you. Look what's working. Now you can keep tabs on me. <laughs> when I take a break. Here we go. <laughs> I better be careful now. I've had, I've had it easy for the last month. <clears throat> Going halfway. Push through the heel, seven. No plopping, control. Good, last here. Shake it up. Heart rate's not down yet, is it? Me either. We'll take a break after this round. Low, one. Eight, I'm really using my hands. I'm gonna try not to here. Nine, low, push. 10, makes a difference. 11, last here, nice. As opposed to like swinging them to get up. Okay. Okay, I'll make it taller. It'll take me longer, but that's 18 inches now. There goes nothing.
20. Wow, okay, water break, but come right back. All right, we're gonna start on your back. You're gonna do some single side glute thrusts. So I want you to have your feet elevated. One leg is on, take that long hair off your hand. The other one is to the ceiling. Hips are all the way up, squeeze the glutes. Down, now feel free to put a weight on your pelvis on one side, hold it tight with your hands. All right, I'm not going to today here. We go up 15 each side here. We can get a little glute burnout. Good, really squeeze at the top here. Now I'm feeling it. There's 10, you got five more. Up, four, three, two, and one. See how high my surface is? It's at least 18 to 20 inches. Make it high as you can. Here we go, other side, up. Five. Ten. All right, 15. Nice. Woo! That's a glute burner. Okay, going into some sit squats. I'm gonna grab my 15s here. You can do this with or without weights. I'm sitting on the corner of my bench. Legs are wide, okay? Now, again, this needs to be perpendicular to the ground, so I don't want you leaning forward and then standing up. Stand straight up, push through the heels. So I'm here, pushing straight up. Here we go, 15 here as well. And two, good. Straight through the heels, squeeze the glutes. All right, five. Five more. Last here. Good, okay. Set those down. You're gonna do a single leg explosive hop. If you don't have a bench, just do squat jumps on the ground with both legs, okay? Otherwise, one leg is gonna hit that as hard as you can. You're gonna power up. You got 15 per leg. Here we go. So, five more. <sighs> wow, that was not nothing. Woo, that leg's shaky. Okay. Switch sides and work. <sighs> wow, that was that was difficult. Not gonna lie. Catch your breath for a second. Any surface would do. I'll give you a step, an old school step. Um, a little step stool from the kitchen. Sure, that'll work. 20 elevated donkey kicks. Hands are on a surface, couch, chair, box, bench. We kick into the ceiling for 20. Let's work. Okay, on your back. 
I'm gonna keep without weight. Feel free to weight it. Here we go, 15 and one. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Whew. Ready? Work. Ten. Fifteen. A lot of hamstring in there too, hey? Okay. Come on, Nelly. That's good. Sit squats. Again, you're on the corner, okay? And that allows you to uh, get those legs super wide. Fifteen here. Wide, okay? Sorry, you're gonna see all that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. This is how I do it. Okay, tall through the heel. One, sit all the way down. I let I let my whole weight go on the bench, so I can stay back, push through the heel. Okay, there's five. I don't know if that was correct counting, was it? Whew. Stay with me now. Okay, there's ten. Push for five. Four. Three, two, this is probably too light. I'm gonna go to the 20s next round. Okay, you got your explosive single side. Little plyometric hop. This one's fun, isn't it? Sort of. Okay, play drop. Here we go. more you're gonna feel it for sure. Okay, wow. You use way more energy when you hit it hard. Okay, here we go. Five. able to use this hair tomorrow. <laughs> it's under a cap. It's going to be a sweaty mess. Oh Nelly. This is good though. I'm actually surprised at my energy levels right now. It's like 10 to 2. It's not like me to exercise this late. Well for all you know for the last month I've been exercising at 7.30. <laughs> Okay, round three. Let's bring that heart rate down a little bit before you lie down, okay? I feel it okay here. Here we go. Push. Five. Ten.
15, switch legs. Get ready and press. Up. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Holy hamstrings, Batman. I never thought. I always felt that in the glutes, but today, on that one side specifically, that's hammies. Okay, what's next? Sit squats. You guys feeling good? This is good, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Okay, here we go. Wide, shoulders back, press up, one. 15, 10, 15, oh I forgot to grab my 20s, Nelly. Oh well. I'm still work, and I'll make these more work. Is what I'll do. Okay. Ready? Fifteen. Hit it hard. intensity. Make sure you join me at the end for a stretch. I'm going to talk about a podcast I just listened to. It's going to keep you doing stuff like that. Here we go for donkey kicks. Let's go. Up. One. Still have another round, okay? Turn me back after your break. Let's start with some front lunges, alternating front lunges, okay? Uh, we'll do 10 per side, I'm holding 15s in my hand. We got 20 in total. Shoulders back, let's work. Okay, drop that back knee nice and low here and push up through your heel. Of course, this can be done without weights if you need to. All right, that's 10. Two more. Last year. Oh, it was a lot. A lot with 15. 30 extra pounds. Okay, whew. It's a hard rate up. Let's go down into a uh, bear crawl position, but hands and knees here. You're gonna do an alternating clamshell or fire hydrant donkey kick, okay? You've got 20 per side. You can also put a mini bed above your knees if you want to add extra tension. That was hard. Here we go, up for one. There's 
is 10. 10 more this side. There's 20. We're gonna hover next round, okay? So it's gonna become harder. Here we go to the other side. Here we go for up and two, three, four. Ten. Nine and twenty. Good. All right, you've got fifteen split hops. Back foot is behind you. You can do it on the floor. I'm gonna elevate mine. Okay, you've got 15 little jumps on each side. Here we go, so you're low. One, two, that's it. Five. 10. 15. Wowza, that glute. Is on fire. Switch, here we go. One. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Oh, that's work for sure. Very stimulated. Okay, going into some star jumps. We've got twenty here. A little. Up, you can modify with the jumping jack. Bring the heart rate down slightly. That's heavy, it's hard. Here we go. Ten. Twenty. I'm gonna take thirty seconds to catch my breath. Do the same if you need. Okay, I probably took a minute. <laughs> oh, I answered a text. Oh, my son's trying to get in to see the doctor right now, and he's he just turned twenty. Ready? Alternating front for twenty. And but he still seems so young to me, and is. I'm like, Kenny, do you want me to come with you? He's like, yeah, sort of. But then I'm like, well, I'm like, am I coming right into the room with you? Anyway, he went by himself, but he couldn't find where to go. Because he didn't pay attention all the years I brought him, I suppose. That's 10. Fifteen. One more. Oh. I feel like I liked front lunges last week. Today, I don't know. That's hard. Okay. So I said hover. I'm gonna try it for 10. If I need to drop to my knee, I will. Do 20 each side. So get into bear crawl position, but pop it up. See my knees are hovered an inch off the ground. That's your position for the full 20, okay? Ready? Work. One. One more of each here and here. Oh. Is that quad on fire or what? Wow, it's different. Switch sides, here we go. One more beach, up and press. Oh, for the love of Pete Sampras, I don't know. <laughs> I said intense, didn't I? So, what do you expect, Trace? A non-intense workout? Okay. That leg's burning. So this leg is gonna be my front on my hop here. Here we 
Here we go. 15. <clears throat> 10. 15. Five, ten, oh. you can turn that into just a lunge if you want without the hop. Start. Jump. I'm gonna do 10, then a break, then 10. You do you. Ten. been up this high in a while. What about you? Okay. <coughs> Can't even talk. You're lucky. Deep breaths in through the nose. Slow exhale. Go ahead and get started if you can. I could pause, cut this. But this is the real me, okay? And I have a group of girls who train with me. Well, not with me, but they live in Washington. I live here. Dana, Allison, Lacey, and Kendra. They train together outside and they put me on a little iPod iPad, do my workouts. And one thing they say, here we go, is that they love it when I say things are hard for me. <laughs> and when I take breaks. All right, girls, can I get a whoop whoop <laughs> in the park at 5 a.m.? That's what they do. How great are they? Don't you want to be part of that little tribe? Me too. I keep saying them. I think a road trip is needed. Well, Marilyn, another girl in our group too is like, we should all road trip to Seattle. Go join these girls on their workouts. That'd be fun. I've lost count, but I believe it's 15. One more. Oh. Well, you can be sort of a part of our tribe because in September, we're revving back up our membership where you get accountability in a private Facebook group, but weekly workouts with many exclusive workouts. Ready and hover, here we go. Not seen on YouTube. So if you wanna grow in your strength, that's the place to get my exclusive workouts in that membership. It's only one month commitment. Cancel any time after a month. One more of each. Good. I had to get a lot of info and a lot of accountability for me. Questions anytime you want. Ready? Work. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that one I didn't love after the quad front lunge. Okay, we're close to being done. Please tell me this was hard for you today. Okay, in the comments below, 
Don't leave me hanging, girls. I need some affirmation. <laughs> Here we go, 15, that I'm not dying, that I'm not losing my strength. Five more here, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know if that quad can take anymore. I really don't. Switch. Work. Five. 10. Oh, this hurts. Holy! Oh, one more exercise. Quick sip. I'm gonna go 10 and 10 again. What are you gonna do? If you weren't here, I would just do the jumping jacks. But I'm here with you, okay? Do this with me. We'll slow it down just a bit. Let's go 10 and 10, okay? Thank you, swear. Here we go. Ten. Pause for a second. Okay. Ten more. Ready? I can't wait to give this workout to my clients. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, count with me. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. And you have moved daily. Woo! Man, that was hard. You know what would be a great addition to this? If you want to continue, do 10 minutes worth of skipping do a bunch of different skips or do a minute on, 15 seconds rest for 10 minutes. I don't have the energy today, but that would be, that would be killer. I, that was hard. I like the jumps, those like box jumps at the very start. That's why I do that at the very start. I love to get the heart rate up right away. It kind of works to pump oxygen throughout the whole workout then. Let's lean forward here. Oh, I'm gonna grab the outside and just stretch my lat a little bit here. Giving an extra stretch to my hamstring and calf. Oh, are you happy about that workout? I've got that um, post workout glow right now feeling totally. Let me know in the comments if you have it too. Like, it's that runner's high, that euphoria, that huge hit of dopamine and endorphins and increased serotonin that just, I feel good. Probably nap later, but I feel good right now. Plus, all my muscles and my legs feel worked and my sore elbow didn't really take the brunt of anything. Let's uh, cross over those legs, grab your ankles, lie all the way down, take a deep breath in through the nose, gently pull towards you here. Oh yeah, baby. Good. Well, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh yeah, we're talking, I forgot. Uh, yes, we're talking, we're talking about uh, reactivity in our own mental health and what I heard on this podcast with Dr. Rhonda Patrick. That's it, that's right. Okay, so I'm gonna link the video below. Uh, she is very scientific. I posted this in our members group. Um, if you want the Coles notes, like me break down the whole interview, it's move daily, but you already knew that, right? On your side here, she gives all this scientific proof, proof rather, about um, uh, depression and, and when we exercise, and specifically when we do high intensity exercise, um, 20 minutes is good, 40 minutes is better, and does more to produce more brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, which is created in the hippocampus of the brain. I've talked about this before. But um, it really does help improve our longevity and our health and to curb uh, symptoms of depression and anxiety. So she, she alludes to, switch sides here, many, many different studies, meta-studies, like 35 different studies compiled together 
get all the information, get all the data, and give the results, and time and time and time again. Like if you have depression, symptoms of depression or depressive disorder, and you're not exercising, you are missing out on the free way to help you through that mental health issue. And uh, it's just, it's a no-brainer to me. You've got to move daily. You've got to increase your heart rate to get that blood pumping, but also to increase this BDNF, your brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which will help stave off things like Alzheimer's, dementia, and of course, um, our mental health issues like depression and anxiety. So listen to this study. Again, very scientific jargon. Um, I thought it was fantastic. She's very smart and she only posts like once every three weeks or once a month because how she, she just, um, she alludes to different studies. You know, it's all in the notes below. Everything is recorded. All the data is analyzed and it's, it's very excellent information if you want more information on how to improve your own mental health vis-a-vis -vis exercise, okay? So you know I'm all about moving daily and your fitness wellness. That's moving in your wellness. If you want to improve that and move further down the road to better health, listen to the video. Again, might be a little bit confusing, but the Coles notes are that you just got to keep exercising. You've got to keep moving and doing this. Even if you can't jump as high or as hard as you used to, it doesn't matter. Go for a walk, go up a hill, go up the stairs, do what you can. If you can't move your legs, grab some weights, do some front punches. There's tons that we can do to move daily and I implore you to continue doing that. All right, right? Love it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Make sure you click that link below and if you're looking for a good strength upper body workout for tomorrow, click or tap the screen right there for that. All right, see you guys in the next workout.